And I'll put my trusted beater bar back over here. I think I might do a whole just just a whole video on that beater bar. All right, time for radiator hose clamps. I'm just going to run these right off. I'll bet you there's enough stiction here that we're going to not have a leak. I also have new radiator hoses for this guy. So, All right. clamp one. Gone. Clamp two. Oh, come on. You're, you're not going to do this to me, are you? Ah, there we go. Got the clamp to slide. Okay. I was just running the worm right out of the clamp. That was no good. Wasn't going to release on me, you bugger. Come on. Now we're jammed. Taking it right off. Hmm. Hmm. Now here. Here's the big million dollar question of the day. Yes, my shop is a mess. Uh, oh boy, this thing is... This hose is in bad shape, dudes. Alright, where's that end? Boy, that's a lot of hose. Ah, what do you think? Cut her off? Cut her off, cut her off. <laughs> oh, knife. Hey, I got two of them out here. <laughs> nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This thing is made out of, oh boy, this thing's like made out of stone. I'm going to definitely need a new knife when I get done here. New blade. And there it goes. Broker. No water. Ow! Just poked myself with a knife. Oh God, you know. One of these days I might sit down and probably could do about a 45 minute video on my history with knives. The fact that I still have all 10 fingers and haven't bled to death is a minor miracle. Ooh, kind of gooky in there. Eh, ain't too bad. It's like somebody flushed it out recently actually. That's just... That's just... Uh, surface corrosion I guess but you look at that see how cracked that hose is this isn't a pressure uh, cooling system on this tractor so it probably would have held up forever but why not replace it while well, you got it apart <sighs> yeah this is one of those well since I got it already got it apart things May as well, may as well this, may as well that. Mm, you get caught up in all the may as wells. Now, the second million dollar question. I should say the two million dollar question. Is the coolant level low enough that I can get the radiator off now? That I can start pulling bolts? All right. Who's got their money on a geyser? I gotta, I gotta imagine this thing can't hold more than a couple gallons up here in the top of it. I gotta imagine this bolster's gotta hold most of it. Because the lower radiator tank on a farm all cub, for those of you who don't know, this is the lower radiator tank, this casting right here. Well, there's no geysers yet. 
We can start taking bolts out. This will be good. All right, here's the moment of truth. This should go right down into the tank. Dry. Dry, dry, dry. Hmm. Not even evidence of stuff on it. I thought the one holes went right through on this guy. See, look at that. Well, it's dry as a popcorn fart there, people. It doesn't matter. This radiator's going to the repair shop anyway. It'll get hot tanked and painted. Alrighty. Let's see. Another one, another one, another one, another one. In about 30 seconds, I'm going to get sick of this idea here, and I'm just going to go get the ratchet with the extension from hell and just go at it from the top. And do a little aerial attack on there. Huh, dry bolt again. I'm noticing though they've been out before, so. In fact, I think all the bolts have been out on this tractor at least once in its lifetime, because so far I've taken a lot of this tractor apart and there ain't a lot of it that I've found that's really been a difficult difficult sell here. Okay, well, that's not venting anything, so I'm just going to close it back up. Besides that, the radiator neck's open. Oh, you know what? I have a Sears ratchet, but it's out in the toy box, out in my barn, so I've got this little Harbor Freight backup, and it's held up. I've beaten the bejesus out of it for a few years. Doesn't work all that well anymore because of the beating it's taken. It's a lifetime guarantee. I could probably take it back and get a new one, but I do have a new ratchet wrench inside. Give me 30 seconds. All right. That should impress Mr. Chucky 2009 there. I'm going to start doing some name dropping here, guys. So, yeah, Chucky 2009. Big fan, big fan. Keep it up, Lance. But, uh, Cobalt. Cobalt tools. I got this before Christmas, back when they were having all their little sales. This was on clearance. The whole set, 25 bucks. Ratchet, $27.99. You buy the ratchet by itself. It's like $27.99. Whole set, 25 bucks. Handles exact same one. I should have bought six of them. Eh. What am I going to do with that many ratchets, though? But you can hear, that one's pretty good. This one's kind of crotchety. I don't know, I really can't complain. It costs less than 10 bucks. It's taken every pounding I've been able to give to it. Say what you want about Harbor Freight, but you shop carefully, get some good stuff out of there. Oh boy, I'm going to be doing some wire brushing later today. Alright, another bolt down. And I'm bleeding! That'll <laughs> look great. Oh, it's going to be a job well done. Barnyard engineer top tech tick of the day. I don't know how the hell Ted Nugent says that. Barnyard engineering top tech tip of the day. If you bleed on it, it's going to be a job well done. And I have bled on this thing now. Okay, is that... Not. No, there we go. Uh-oh. Alright, what? What the crunk? Alright. Oh, look at all the loose paint. Bolts are coming out like butter. We have to do some of them by hand, though, which kind of blows chunks. Uh, oh, this is not good. They're different lengths. 
I'm going to have to lay him out here. I one with a wrench, but I can't get on that one with a wrench. That's weird. Let's see if I can do that. Maybe it doesn't try hard enough. No, it's not on there. Slip the wrench in there easy. And she just don't want to go in there. Oh. That side won't. That side cleared. This side won't. Well, I'm gonna. It's gonna be nothing left of that head if I don't take it out the hard way. trick up my sleeve. One more trick up my sleeve here. Now it's truly the extension from hell. I have now added a quarter to three eighths reducer and now I have a thin wall quarter inch socket on there. That, if that doesn't get in there to turn those bolts, nothing will. Should be good to go now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're in the neck. Jug. 